Hi guys, and just a quick thank you for sticking with me and watching my videos. I'm going to talk to the GOPs that uh, linger in the bushes of my videos and they like to see what is being said. Um, this is my memo to you. My thoughts about you, GOP. GOP hypocrites. Yeah, the government of prejudice. <laughs> yeah, you guys condemn murder and you point your finger at black folks, black on black crime. You never think about, you know, it's proximity. There's black people close to black people. It's proximity. When the white guy is strangling his wife, digging a hole for her and falls in it, or he pushes his wife down the steps, or he chops her body up in her bits, or he Jeffrey Dahmer's her or him. And yet you quick to collect, uh, protect the police. You don't ever mention about police brutality or murder by police. That's okay. You want to say my body, my choice. As it comes to the vaccine, the mask, you don't want to wear one. You're putting up a whole tissy fit about it. And yet you want to get up under a woman's skirt tail to tell her whether she can or cannot have an abortion and try to overturn turn Roe versus Wade when it doesn't concern you. Nobody, no grown woman, no teenage girl is asking some 70 or 80 year old crotchety man, what should she do with her body? It's none of your business. The same thing that you say your body, your rights is the same thing we feel about our bodies. You love to tell people about you got rights, my rights, the amendments, the amendments, this amendment, that amendment. Oh, you just, y'all just love that. Just the way y'all pick and choose things out the Bible to try to preach and force people to believe what you believe because you think that you are right. And when in the midst of throwing these all around, these amendments around and this freedom of speech, you're banning books and burning, literally burning books. You don't want kids to know anything about critical race theory. You don't want race to be taught in the schools. And yet, who is has critical race theory in a math book? DeSantos. Nobody. And you know better. Nobody else can speak or say anything else except for what you want. Only you get the freedom of speech. We can't talk about people of different genders or they identify themselves as different genders. We can't talk about people and be more expansive as we look at people of colors and their contribution to the world. Yeah. Okay. So freedom of speech for you. Shutting up for everybody else. You want to keep the big lie going of Donald Trump. You know the big lie that he won the election when he did not. And the truth is, you know, he did not. He never did. You let him run amok, courtroom to courtroom, trying to prove it. Never proved it anywhere. But that was okay with you. And you still perpetuate it because you know to do that means that you could possibly get those same Trump supporters and have them vote for you. And you even got some fools up in there like MTG and many people like that that try to take on that whole D Donald Trump persona, Right? and run their mouth and say anything recklessly because they feel they can because those are the Karens of your party. And all you really want to do is get the votes because just as he is a grifter, so are you. You're, you are. You want to get those people. You want to take that money. You knew Donald Trump wasn't running for nothing. He ain't even running for a bus, let alone running for president again. You already knew that. But you are fine. You didn't say anything as long as that money kept coming in and it could lie in your pockets as well. Then you have the nerve to call <clears throat> Michael Brown. You remember Michael Brown from Ferguson, right? And he was shot by a police officer. He was unarmed. He had his hands up. He was walking home. You called him an 18 year old man. And this shooter here in Buffalo, <laughs> who killed many people, unarmed people, unsuspecting people. An 18-year-old teenager. 
The BS that you put out there is utterly ridiculous. And then you got Clarence Thomas, who has the audacity, okay, to get up and talk about how we are dishonoring and disrespecting the Supreme Court by this leak out here and how wrong it is and how he frowns on it. Baby, you need to take a seat and STFU. <laughs> and if you know, you know. STFU. Go sit down somewhere. The nerve of you to speak on anything is beyond. Who took your muzzle off? Who gave you permission to step to the mic? Bootlickers don't get to speak up like that. They got to be told to make a move, and that's you. All the while, you got Jenny over there texting back and forth with Mark Meadows, all planning an insurrection, paying for buses and lodgings and food for people to come and uh, open the cracking. <laughs> if I, I couldn't imagine having a friend, spouse, relative talking that mess they'd be cut off my life quick fast in a hurry but i don't see you jumping up talking that i see you avoiding going to the one six committee and having that discussion how about you talk about how disrespectful that is how unsavory and, and what a hypocrite that you are being that's okay right when you vote so donald trump does not have to release his things into court when everybody else says in the court, yes, he does have to. You said no. You a fool. You know what they say? Ain't no fool like an old fool. And then you got folks piling up behind Mitch McConnell. Like, really? Mitch McConnell, Turtle McConnell, Turtle Head. I call him Turtle. Uh, don't you know that he was court martialed, allegedly, from the army? That allegedly. He had some, some, some inappropriate relationships with people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of similar to this teacher who uh, they said in the paper, she had carnal knowledge with a teenager, uh, underage. Carnal knowledge. You know carnal knowledge? Yeah, she essayed him underage uh underage relations is what it was mm -hmm. some of y'all y'all greatest leaders do that y'all want to talk about christianity and god and and what he wants and yada yada but all the while it's okay for trump to talk, talk about grabbing by the you know what or walking in on the young girls at the pageant uh and seeing them undressed because he owns it because he can mm -hmm. Or his unsavory uh, relationship with Jeffrey Epstein. But what we're supposed to do is pretend we don't see that, right? Keep coming out there to your mega church. Keep taking the pennies we have and put it in the, the millions you have. So what? You could buy a plane. Yes, that one. Yes, I'm talking to you. You can buy a plane or another 100 cars or some more mansions or whatever. Mm-hmm. Didn't, God, didn't Jesus say it's harder to get into heaven? Uh, it's like getting through the, the eye of a needle with a rich man. I don't know how it goes exactly. Y'all know it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yet here you are. Talking that hip hypocritical talk, that political talk, which I thought that was supposed to be separate, in your churches. All the while, you got little old ladies and little old men and people that are simple-minded tithing you 10% and yet they got to go home and eat some rav can of raviolis or something while you're going to eat a steak and lobster or, or what have you or you're going to some uh, amazing island somewhere to do God knows what but it won't be God's duty I believe that so GOP I'm so over y'all you're hypocrites <clears throat> you're of an era that is long gone and you are desperate to hold on to because some of you are so old. You're so old. You're not even baby, baby boomers. You're the forgotten generation is who you are. You That's how far back you go. The forgotten generation. And you still want to hold on to control by any means necessary. Not realizing that the control is not in our hands. 
the control of yourself is, but the control of this country, this world, these people, this universe, this galaxy, you don't control any of it. That's utterly ridiculous. Control is in the hands of a higher power. And that's not you. Show as you walking around with your unsavory conversations is as sure as you will go down. You absolutely will. Mm -hmm. Your party is a party that needs to go away. The Six of Swords. You need to go. You need to go away because you're sitting in hot water. Your party is a party that's done. That is the uh, Ten of Swords. Tens is over. Something is over. And the party that you've run and the way you have run it is coming to an end quick, fast, and in a hurry. This is your ego that needs to be done with. You went from serving people to serving yourself. You went to ser from serving people to serving corporations. You went to from serving yourself, from serving uh, countries that are giving millions, billions of dollars to people like um, Trump's son-in-law. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yet, y'all not investigating that. Y'all will go away. You will lay down your sword and your battle because time is not on your side. Time is not on your side. You've done so much dastardly dirt, it's not even funny. Mm -hmm. You want to feel like things are just going to get better. Don't worry, this party's just going to get better. It'll get better. Things will get better for us. And yet, on top of that comes justice. Justice. Justice is coming for you. Justice is cause and effect. Okay. It's the true karmic card. Okay. It's the true karmic card. In fact, you have the wheel of fortune is also karma and destiny combined together. Baby. Wow. That is a big hit. Two karmic cards together. Major arcana that says justice is coming for you in a way that you won't believe it or you won't feel it. Anything you touch will turn to dust and to dirt. Anything. What all you've given out from the greed, the grift, the lust, the inappropriateness, the trying to hide your real uh, sexuality, to being in closets and dressing in particular strange ways instead of stepping up in your truth and saying, let people be people. Because that's what I am. Do you want us to believe that all of y'all are fine and have no problem, but the rest of us and the younger people behind us are all messed up, but it's not you? That is your DNA that runs through them and runs through all of us, quite frankly. Y'all are us and we are you. We are the same. It is a mirror. <clears throat> yes, indeed. You may not have went into Buffalo and did the damage this young uh man did man but you got somebody like the santos and, and, and abbott down there they might as well have weaponry because that's what they do into their state for you there's no good coming to you mm -hmm. you will get back exactly what you gave out it'll be a long hard arduous painful thing for you i don't wish that on nobody i'm just telling you what my guides tell me and i'm telling you it's a hard, long road for you. Mm -hmm. Y'all rest easy, GOP, because uh, it's nothing but dark and dark and dark for you. Have a good day.